क्वेश्चन नंबर 171 चूज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्ट्रक्चर गिवन इन द डायग्राम बिलो नो द स्ट्रक्चर गिवन इन द डायग्राम इज द प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्रोटीन एंड इट इज अ पॉलीपेप्टाइड चेन द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज द फर्स्ट एमिनो एसिड इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एन टर्मिनल एमिनो एसिड एंड दिस इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस डायग्राम सो दिस इज अ करेक्ट आंसर टू आवर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ द फर्स्ट एमिनो एसिड इज the n terminal amino acid and the last is the c terminal amino acid second option is amino acids are linked by peptide and hydrogen bonds is an incorrect statement because it is linked by peptide bonds but not by hydrogen bonds the third statement is upon denaturation of polypeptide it is broken into constituents and this is an incorrect statement because upon denaturation of proteins primary structure is not destroyed the last statement is it may fold upon itself giving rise to proteins like hemoglobin possessing a quaternary structure and this is also an incorrect statement because a single polypeptide when folded upon itself gives rise to secondary or tertiary structure quaternary structure is formed by an assembly of more than one polypeptide chain so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 let's discuss the next question question number 172 complete the analogy as peroxidase is to heme carboxypeptidase is to what and the correct answer to this question is option number 1 zinc zinc is a cofactor for carboxypeptidase option 2 is incorrect option 3 calcium is incorrect calcium is a cofactor for succinic dehydrogenase option number 4 is incorrect because cupric ion is a cofactor for cytochrome oxidase so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 let's discuss the next question question number 173 choose the incorrect statement the very first statement is a non competitive inhibitor does not resemble the substrate in its structure and as it is a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer second statement says presence of competitive inhibitor does not affect the maximum velocity of a reaction and as it is also a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer third statement is malonate is a non competitive inhibitor of succinic dehydrogenase this is an incorrect statement and is a correct answer to our question because malonate is a competitive inhibitor for succinic dehydrogenase statement 4 in an endothermic reaction the energy level of substrate is less than that of product and as it is also a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 Let's proceed to the next question. Question number one seventy four. Choose the incorrect match with respect to animal, its phylum, and features. The very first option is pila. Phylum given is mollusca. This is correct. Feature radula and mental cavity. And as it is a correct match, this cannot be a correct answer because pila is a mollusk characterized by the presence of radula and mental cavity. The next match is secoglossus. it belongs to the phylum hemichordata and the features given are stomochord and proboscis gland it is also a correct match so cannot be a correct answer third option is pinctada phylum given is coelenterata which is incorrect features given are metagenesis and nidoblasts and this is an incorrect match because pinctada is a mollusk it belongs to the phylum mollusca and it is not characterized by metagenesis and nidoblast it is the characteristic features of members belonging to the phylum coelenterata so this is the correct answer to our question the fourth option is ophiura the match given is phylum echinodermata features are water vascular system and spiny skin and as it is a correct match this cannot be a correct answer so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 let's proceed to the next question Question number one seventy five. Select a bilaterally symmetrical acylomate animal. The very first option is Ascaris, and this is incorrect. Ascaris is a pseudocylomate. Option two, Fasciola, is a correct answer to our question because Fasciola is a platyhelminthes. It is bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic acylomate. Third option is Pleurobrachia, and this is incorrect because Pleurobrachia belongs to the phylum Tenophora. and these are radially symmetrical acylomates the last option is lecifer and this is incorrect lecifer belongs to the phylum arthropoda these are bilaterally symmetrical but coelomate 
So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's discuss the next question. Mm -hmm.